What is going on guys? This is Daniel, and I think Jonah Bolden will be a second round steal for the Philadelphia 76ers. And first, let's get to know Bolden at a basic level. He's a 21 year old who played a season at UCLA and last year played in Serbia. The 76ers drafted him at pick number 36. He's 6'10", solid size for a role playing 4'5", and he actually won't be on the 76ers next season. It was reported a few days ago that he will be a draft and stash player. And most importantly, he impressed in Summer League. And it is just Summer League, but you can tell certain things about a player, instincts, skill level, and he really popped. Let's get to it. Offensively, Bolden does most of the things you want out of a role-playing big, and that includes crashing the offensive glass. First off, on this play, he sets a flare screen in the flow of the offense, and it's good to see him thinking and doing things off the ball, and then when the shot goes up, he crashes the glass and gets the putback. What immediately stands out about Bolden is he plays with a high motor, so here even on a free throw, he crashes the glass hard and gets the board. Bolden will likely never be a dynamic offensive rebounder as he spends a lot of time on the perimeter, but it's nice to see here even though he's behind the 3 point line, on the full drive he'll crash and get the put back dunk. He's also quite the passer and his vision was very impressive, here he has it on top and throws a perfect bounce pass for the backdoor layup. Because Bolden is a good passer, you can run sets through him, so here's a set where the 76ers get it to Bolden at the elbow and he looks very comfortable operating there and he makes a nice pass to a cutter. He also makes passes hard, so here's an example as he drives and he slings a bullet over for the 3. He can also make plays in transition a la Draymond Green. So first off, nice box out to corral the defensive rebound, and then he takes off himself and makes a solid pass. He has a certain flair when he makes passes, and I'm entertained by it, so here he takes it up, and he makes an incredible pass on the move to the opposite corner right on the money, and that's just an incredible pass. And I think this is a legitimate thing he can do in the NBA. I didn't see him go coast to coast, and his driving wasn't spectacular in general, but being able to grab the rebound and make passes like this can be quite valuable. I haven't used any stats so far because Summer League is such a small sample size and I think it's more fun to use the eye test anyways, but we do have to bring in stats to talk about his 3 point shooting. So last season overseas, he shot a good 40% on over 4 attempts per game and in Summer League, he shot 31% on over 4 attempts per game. And he's definitely adjusting to the NBA 3 point line, this is to be expected, but in general his shot looks pretty fluid, he's definitely confident shooting a bunch of these shots. So. Overall, I have to say I'm pretty optimistic, and it would be extremely valuable, of course, if he can stretch the floor. As long as he can eliminate some contested long ones like these, you should see that percentage rise. The real potential for Bolden to be a stretch 5 is very appealing. So here he's standing in the corner as the 5, and just that opens the lane on the drive. You can see Jordan Bell is a bit hesitant to rotate over because he's guarding a threat in Bolden, and that results in the foul. His shooting of course would be useful in the pick and pop, so if the big man defender sags back, that opens up the 3 when Bolden pops. But he's not strictly limited to the pick and pop, he can roll as well, and here he rolls and there's terrible defense in Summer League so he gets a dunk. It's little plays like this that make me want to make a video about a second round pick. So here he's in the pick and roll, and the Lakers will late switch. So what happens is, on the shot, a smaller defender will end up on Bolden, and Bolden is aware. He boxes out the smaller defender and gets the rebound. This is a good example of how his passing translated to the pick and roll. So the Lakers big man will come out high, so Bolden catches it on the short roll, and when a Lakers defender rotates over, Bolden makes the simple pass to the corner to the open shooter, and that seems like an easy pass, but on the move like that, it's not as easy as it looks. Moving on to defense, and let's start with defensive rebounding, which I'm not going to get too deep into, 
All the stats I've seen project him as a pretty average defensive rebounder, and I don't doubt that, but he does box out, and here's a nice play where he skies for the rebound in traffic. Let's talk about pick and roll defense, which is of course very important, and here he contains in the pick and roll, and he shows his quick feet as he slides to force the pass. Unofficially, Bolden has a 7-3 wingspan, and combine that with his instincts and feel, and you get plays like this, where he contains and anticipates the pass and gets the deflection. Let's watch this play again. Notice when Bolden contains, he jabs his foot at the ball handler to keep the ball handler guessing whether Bolden will commit to the ball handler or not. This is savvy stuff for a 21 year old. The NBA is trending more towards switching and Bolden can do that. This is an unbelievably impressive play where Bolden switches onto a guard, shows off his super quick feet, he's aggressive, and forces the miss. Wow. And the reason I think he can play some 5 in the NBA is because he showed some rim protection in Summer League. Here on the drive he nicely rotates over and blocks the shot. I haven't really even talked about his leaping at all, but you can tell he can jump. And here's an example of his timing where he goes for the weak side block, jumps high, and gets it. Another nice rotation from Bolden, protecting the basket, and here getting the strip. That being said, I do need to see more before I'm certain he'll be a rim protector in the NBA. And on this play, he doesn't rotate to help, probably because he was thinking Lonzo was going to pass it, but either way, he should have stepped up. Onto his rotations in general, and despite his feel for the game, he did miss a few. Here he's late rotating over to bump the pick and roll, and he fouls giving up the and one. Here a quick pass catches Bolden by surprise. The post is being fronted, so Bolden, being in that spot, needs to rotate over and protect against the pass over the top. He doesn't, and it's a dunk. But I'm really not concerned because his defensive anticipation, feel, and instincts were just so good. Here's an example where Kyle Kuzma will try a fake handoff against him, and Bolden sees it coming and just steals it from him. This time in transition, it's a borderline two on one, and Lonzo has the ball, and Bolden reads the bounce pass and gets the steal. Bolden's intelligence to go along with his physical tools is not something you see every day. And here's an example in transition, he'll close out, and we know he has quick feet, but quick feet is nothing if you can't anticipate and kind of see where the ball handler is going to go and that's exactly what he does as he cuts off the drive. From what I saw he's also capable of defending post ups and here against Zubats he holds his own and he has solid strength. The bottom line is Bolden is a role player who does a lot of appealing things on both ends of the floor. On offense he can crash the offensive glass He's a fantastic passer from what I've seen, and he has real potential to stretch the floor. Defensively, he has very quick feet and he can switch, and when you combine that with his physical tools along with his instincts and smarts, and then you add in the fact that he may be able to protect the basket, and you have a very intriguing player. Now he's not a scorer, he's not going to post up, and I would have liked to seen him show off some more driving in the games I saw, but he is what he is. He's a role player, and he should fit very well next to Embiid and the other 76ers stars. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.